did you mean uh, meet them or did they beat their retreat on here my fair renown why should you not speak of the enemies pros and strength your wits seem utterly dazed going there had at the lakshmana's feet the spies immediately departed recounting the virtue of shri rama with shri rama's praise on their lips they entered lanka and put their head at ravana's feet a terrified monster lord and asked them to the news report me sukha your own welfare and then tell me the news about vishnas whom death has approached very near the fool left lanka where he was ruling the wretch will now be crushed as a we will with barely grains tell me next all about the host of the bears and monkey that has been driven over here by a cruel destiny it is the poor soft hearted sea that has stood as a protector of their life lastly tell me the news about the ascetic rama and lakshmana whose heart is obsessed with unceasing terror of me did you meet them or did they beat their treat on hearing my fair renown why should you not speak of the enemies pros and strength your wits seems utterly dazed my lord just as you have so kindly put these questions to me so do you believe what i say and be not angry no sooner had your younger brother vishna met shri rama than the latter applied the sacred mark of sovereignty on his forehead when the monkey heard that we were ravana's your majesty's spies they bound us and uh, persecuted us as many ways they were about to cut off our ears and nose but when we adjured them by rama not to do so they let us go you have inquired my lord about shri rama's army but a thousand billion stag would fail to describe it it is the host of bears and monkey of the tigers you and grew some visage huge as terrible he who burned your capital and killed your son aksa in the weakest of all the monkeys the army includes innumerable champions with as many names fares and under under unyielding monster of vast bulk and possessing the strength of numberless elephants did you meet them or did they beat their retreat on hearing my fair renown did you meet them or did you beat their retreat and did you meet them or did you beat their retreat on hearing my fair renown why should you not speak of the enemy's pros and strength Pro- prowess prowess means uh, prowess and strength prowess means prowess and strength prowess prowess means uh, prowess and strength prowess means prowess prowess means prowess means a skill or experience in a particular activity or field a skill or experience in a particular activity or field is called the prowess 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 means skill and experience in particular activity or field bravery in battle is called the prowess 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 exceptional valor bravery or ability especially combat or battle is called the exceptional valor bravery or ability especially in combat or battle is called the exceptionally valor bravery or ability especially in combat or battle valor wheeler wheeler so wheeler ability combat or battle is called the did you mean uh, them or did you beat their retreat on hearing my fair renown why sh- why should you not speak of the enemy's pros and strength your wit seems utterly dazed your wit seems pros pros and strength why you not speak on enemy's pros and strength Uh, your wits seems utterly dazed your wits seems utterly dazed your wit seems utterly dazed dazed means your wits seem pro- prose prose means 
was utterly dazed dazed means uh, dazed dazed means unable to think or react properly is called a dazed unable to think or react properly is called a dazed unable to think or react properly is called a dazed unable to think or react properly is called a dazed unable to think or react properly is called a dazed unable to think or react properly is called a dazed unable to think or react properly is called a dazed unable to think or react properly is called a dazed unable to think or react properly is called a dazed unable to think or react properly is called a dazed unable to think or react properly is called a dazed unable to think or react properly is called a dazed unable to think or react properly is called a dazed unable to think or react properly is called a dazed unable to think or react properly is called a dazed unable to think or react properly is called a dazed unable to think or react properly is called a dazed unable to think or react properly is called a dazed unable to think or react properly is called a dazed unable to think or react properly is called did you meet them did they beat their retreat on hearing my fair renown why should you not speak of the enemy's pros and strength your wit seems utterly dazed unable to think or react properly is called a dazed unable to think or react properly is called your wits seem able to think or react properly is called a dazed wits unable to think or react properly is called a dazed unable to think or react properly is called a dazed unable to think or react properly is called a dazed unable to think or react properly is called a dazed wits means the capacity or in inventive thoughts and quick understanding is called the wit the capacity of inventive thought and quick understanding is called the wit the capacity of inventive thought and quick understanding is called the wit the capacity of inventive thought and quick understanding is called the wit the capacity of inventive thought and quick understanding is called the wit the capacity for inventive thought and quick understanding is called the wit the capacity of inventive thought and quick understanding is called the wit the capacity of inventive thought and quick understanding is called the wit keen intelligence is called the wit the natural appetite for using words and idea and quick and inventive way to create humor is called a wit and so happy to be using words and idea and a quick and inventive way to create humor is called a wit to create humor is called a wit create humor is called a wit the natural aptitude uh, wit wit means the ability to use words or idea in amusing clever and imaginative ways called a wit the ability to use words or idea in an amusing clever and imaginative way yeah, is called a wit the ability to use words or idea in an amusing clever and imaginative way is called the wit the ability to use words or idea in amusing clever and imaginative way is called the wit the ability to use words or idea in a amusing clever and imaginative way is called the wit the ability to use word or idea in an amusing uh, uh, clever and imaginative way is called the wit the ability to use words or idea in an amusing clever and imaginative way is called the with the ability to word or idea in amusing clever and imaginative way is called the wit the ability to use words or idea uh, in an amusing clever and imaginative way is called the wit the ability to uh, create words and idea word or idea in amusing clever and imaginative way is called the wit the did you mean them or did uh, they beat their retreat of hearing my fair renown did you meet them or did they beat their retreat on hearing my fair renown uh did you meet them or did they beat their retreat on hearing my fair did they beat their retreat retreat means did they beat their retreat retreat means retreat retreat means retreat retreat means retreat retreat means uh withdraw from uh, uh, enemy force as a result of superior power or after a defeat is called a retreat withdraw from enemy force as a result of their superior power after a defeat is called a retreat the act of moving back is called a retreat the act of moving back is called a retreat a singular for military force or withdraw the act of moving back is called a retreat the act of moving back is called a retreat the act of process of withdrawing especially from what is difficult dangerous or disagreeable is called a retreat an act of uh, pro- process of withdrawing especially from what is difficult dangerous or disagreeable is called a retreat the act of process of withdrawing especially from 
what is difficult, dangerous or disagreeable is called the act of process withdrawing especially from that is difficult, dangerous or disagreeable is called the retreat. The process of receding from position or state attained the retreat of a glacier. Did you meet them or did they beat their retreat? On hearing my fair renown, why should you not speak of the enemy's pros and strength? Beat their retreat on hearing my fair renown. They beat their retreat on hearing my fair renown. Beat the retreat by hearing my fair renown. On hearing my fair renown. By hearing my fair renown. Why should you not speak the enemy's pros and strength? Your wit seems utterly dazed. Utterly dazed. Dazed means utterly dazed. Utterly dazed. Wit means quick idea and understanding. Humorous way. Idea and using words and idea in humorous way is called the uh, words and idea in humorous way is called the dazed means unable to think or react properly is called the dazed. Unable to think or react properly is called the dazed. Uh, it seems utterly, utterly, utterly means uh, here. It seems utterly, utterly means dazed. Utterly means your It seems utterly, utterly means uh, utterly, utterly means completely and without qualification. Absolutely, completely and without qualification. Absolutely, utterly means uh, to emphasize that something is very great in extent, degree, or amount. Utterly, extremely great degree and amount. Extremely. Utterly, utterly dazed, unable to think and react properly is called a dazed. Unable to think and react properly is called a dazed. My Lord, just you have, you have kindly put these questions to me. Put these questions to me. Put these questions to me. You have put these questions, questions to me. As you have keep these questions. Questions means. Uh, a sentence worded or expressed the illicit information is called the question. Expressed as to illicit. A matter requiring resolution or discussion is called the question. A matter requiring resolution or discussion is called the question. A matter is called the question. Question means general question. Information is called the questions. Question means generating information is called the questions. Questions means generating information. A sentence worded or expressed to elicit information. To elicit information. Elicit means uh, evoke or draw for someone. Evoke or draw for someone is called the elicit. Evoke or draw for someone. Elicit is called the. A sentence worded or expressed so as to elicit information. Elicit information. Draw for someone is called the elicit. Uh, met Sri Rama, then the letter applied to Sakar Smarkar Sonia on his. When the monkey heard that we uh, were Ravana's, your majesty's spices, they bound us and uh, no sooner had your younger brother Vishnu met Sri Rama, then the letter applied a second mark of the sovereignty on their forehead. When the monkey, when the monkey heard that we were Ravana's, your majesty's spices, they bound us and persecuted us in many ways. They were about to cut off our ears and nose, but when we adjure them by Rama not to do so, they let us go. You have inquired, my lord, about Sri Rama's army, but a thousand million tongues would fail to describe it. But the thousand million tongues would fail to describe it. It is host of the bears and monkey of diverse hue and gruesome visage. It is the host of bears and monkeys of diverse hue. And gruesome visage, gruesome visage, gruesome means gruesome visage, gruesome, gruesome means uh, gruesome visage, gruesome, diverse ways and gruesome visage, gruesome, gruesome means uh, causing uh, repulsion or horror, is called the gruesome, extremely unpleasant, is called the gruesome, extremely unpleasant, is called the gruesome. Extremely unpleasant is called the gruesome. Extremely unpleasant is called the gruesome. Frightful is called the gruesome. Extremely unpleasant is called the gruesome. Extremely unpleasant is called the gruesome. Extremely unpleasant and shocking is usually dealing with death or injury is called the gruesome. Extremely unpleasant and shocking usually dealing with death or injury is called the is called the gruesome. Extremely unpleasant and shocking and usually dealing with 
death or injury is called the gruesome when the monkeys hear that we were ravana's your majesty's spices they bound us and prosecuted us in many ways bound us and prosecuted us in many ways prosecuted us bound us and prosecuted us in many ways prosecuted bound us and prosecuted prosecuted us in many ways prosecuted means uh, prosecuted prosecuted means subject to hostility and ill treatment is called the prosecuted and ill treatment is called the prosecuted and ill treatment is called the prosecuted uh, especially because of their ethnic region sexual or their political belief harshness or annoy annoy persistently harshness and annoy persistently prosecuted the treat someone unfairly or cruelly over a long period of time because of their uh, race religion or political belief or to annoy someone by refusing to leave them alone prosecuted they bound us and prosecuted us in many ways they were about to cut off our ears and nose but when we adjured them by rama not to do so they let us go you have inquired my lord about shri rama's army but a thousand million tongues would fail to describe it you have inquired my lord about shri rama's army but a thousand million tongues would fail to describe it it is the host of bears and monkey of drivers you and gruesome a visage gruesome visage visage means visage gruesome visage visage gruesome visage gruesome prosecuted means subject hostile ill treatment is called the prosecuted ill treatment is called the prosecuted ill treatment is called the prosecuted visage visage means uh, a person's face with reference to the form propositions of the feature a person facial expression is a visage a person facial visage. visage a person facial expression is called the visage a, per, a face countenance or appearance of person or sometimes uh, the face countenance or appearance of person or sometimes or uh, an animal aspects appearance is called the visage aspect the facial expression is called the faces a facial a face countenance or appearance of person or sometimes an animal is called the visage face countenance when um, my lord uh, visage it is the host of bears and monkeys of the diverse hue and gruesome visage gruesome visage drivers and gruesome visage divers and huge huge gruesome visage we say here facial expression or appearance is called the we say facial expression or appearance is called the visage facial expression or experience is called the visage gruesome gruesome means uh, uh, causing repulsion or horror this the extremely unpleasant is called the gruesome extremely unpleasant is called the gruesome extremely unpleasant is called the gruesome visage it is a host of the bears and monkey of diverse hue and gruesome visage extremely unpleasant is called the gruesome extremely unpleasant facial expression is called the gruesome extremely unpleasant facial facial expression is called the gruesome extremely unpleasant facial expression is called the gruesome extremely unpleasant failure facial expression is called the gruesome humans refer to domination color family refer to the dominate color family is called the hue refer to dominate color hue means red orange blue hue and uh, visage millions tongues gruesome visage hue and diverse hues and gruesome visage monkey of diverse hue and the gruesome uh, means uh, un- extremely visage facial expression and very unpleasant visage huge as uh, huge and terrible huge and terrible huge and terrible gruesome visage facial expression extremely unpleasant facial expression gruesome visage you gruesome visage you uh, terrible terrible means terrible terrible means extremely bad or serious is called the terrible extremely bad or serious is called the terrible extremely bad or serious is called the terrible he who burned your capital and killed your son is weakest of all the monkeys he who burned your capital and killed your son is the weakest of all the uh, all the monkeys weakest of all the monkeys weakest of all the monkeys weakest of burn your city is weakest of all the monkeys terrible terrible weakest weakest means uh, weakest 
lacking the power of uh, to perform physical demanding task having little physical strength or energy is the weakest having uh, having little physical strength or energy is called the weakest having little physical strength or energy is called the physical strength or energy is called the weakest having physical having lacking physical strength or energy is called the weakest having little physical strength or energy is called the weakest having lit, having little physical liable to break or give me way under pressure easily damaged is called the weakest easily damaged is called the weakest liable to break or give way under pressure is called the weakest liable to break or give way under pressure is called the weakest liable to break or give way under pressure is called the weakest liable to break or give way under pressure is called the weakest liable to break or give way under pressure is called the weakest liable to break or give way under pressure is called the easily damaged is called the weakest liable to break or give way under pressure is called the weakest liable to break or give way under pressure is called the weakest liable to break or give way under pressure is called the weakest liable to break or give way under pressure easily damaged is called the weakest easily damaged is called the weakest lacking the power to perform physical demanding task having little physical strength or energy is called the weakest having uh, uh, having little physical strength or energy is called the weakest having uh, little physical strength or energy is called the weakest having little physical strength or energy is called the weakest having little physical strength or energy is called the weakest having little physical and strength or energy is called the weakest having little physical strength or energy is called the weakest having little physical strength or energy is called the weakest having little physical strength or energy is called the weakest liable to break or give way under pressure easily damaged is called the weakest liable to break or give way under pressure easily damaged is called the weakest not strong liable to yield break or collapse under pressure or strength fragile is called the weakest fragile is called the weakest fragile is called the weakest it is the host of bears and monkeys of the diverse hue and gruesome visage gruesome visage huge and terrible he who burnt your capital and killed your son aksa is the weakest of all monkeys the army includes innumerable champions with as many names the army includes innumerable champions the army includes innumerable champions with and many names the army includes innumerable champions the army includes innumerable champions with and many names fierce and unyielding monster of vast bulk fierce fires and unyielding monster fires and unyielding monsters fires weakest means pressure fierce fierce means fierce Fierce means uh, having or displaying an intense, furious aggress- aggressiveness is called the fierce. Having or displaying an intense or furious aggr- aggressiveness is called the very extremely fierce. Having or displaying intense or furiously aggressiveness. Fierce means showing fury or uh, malignity in look or action is called the fierce. Showing fury or malignity, malignity in looks or action is called the fierce passionate joyful and positive is called the fierce fierce positive fierce fierce means untamed cruel is called the fierce untamed cruel fell brutal barbarous blood blood thirsty is called the fierce blood thirsty is called the fierce he who burned your capital and killed your son is the weakest of all enemy the army includes innumerable champions with many names fierce and unyielding monsters of vast bulk and possessing a strength of numberless elephants monsters of vast bulk and possessing the strength of numberless uh, elephant possessing the st- strength of numberless ele- elephants strength possessing the strength strength of numberless element elephants strength strength means fierce strength strength means uh, strength strength means the quality or state of being physically strong is called the strength the quality or state of being physically strong is called the strength the quality or state of being physically strong is called the strength the quality or state of being physically strong is called the strength the quality or state of being physically strong is called the strength 
the quality or state of being physically strong is called the strength the quality or state of being physically strong is called the strength the quality or state of being physically strong is called the strength the quality or state of being physically strong the capacity of an object to sustain great force or pressure is called the strength the capacity of object of sustain to withstand great force or pressure is called the strength the capacity the quality of being physically strong is called the strength strength the quality of being physically strong is called the strength the ability to do things that needed a lot of physical or mental uh, effort is called the, the ability to do things that need a lot of physical or mental effort is called the strength the ability to do things that need a lot of physical or mental effort is called the strength the ability to do things that need a lot of physical or mental effort is called the ability to do things that is need a lot of physical or mental effort is called the strength the ability to do things that need a lot of physical or mental effort is called the strength the ability to do things that need a lot of physical or mental effort is called the strength the ability to do things that needs a lot of physical or mental effort is called the strength the ability to do things that needs a lot of physical or mental effort is called the strength the ability to think a lot of uh, numberless strength strength means uh, to do things is called the strength may lord just uh, and did you meet them meet means did you meet them meet means did you meet them uh, or did they beat the meet strength the ability to withstand is called the strength meet meet means um, meet means meet means meet meet means uh, arrange and uh, or happen to come into the presence or company someone touch or join is called the meet touch or join is called the meet touch or join is called the meet iceberg when glaciers meet the sea a gathering of riders and hound before a hunt begins arrange or happen to come into the presence of company someone arrange or happen to come into presence or company of someone a company uh, arrange or happen to come into presence of company or touch or join is called the touch or join is called the meet to come into the presence for the first time is called the to come into presence for the first time is called the meet meet means uh, meet is based from used to present tense meet meet means you are introduce them and begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the meet you introduce to them and begin talking to them getting to know them is called the meet you are introduced to them and begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the meet you are introduced to introduce them and begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the meet you are introduced to them and begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the meet you are introduced them and begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the meet you are introduced to them and talking begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the meet you are introduced to them and begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the meet you are introduced to them and begin talking to them and getting to them know them is called the is called the meet you are introduced to them and begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the you are introduced to them and begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the meet you are introduced to them and begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the meet you are introduced to them and begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the meet you are introduced to them and begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the meet you are introduced to them begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the meet you are introduced to them uh, you are introduced to them and begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the meet you are introduced to them begin talking to them and uh, make making a request to meet with someone uh, you are introduced to them begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the meet you are introduced to them begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the meet you are introduced to them and begin talking to them and getting know to them is called the meet you are introduced to them getting talking to them and getting to know them is called the meet you are introduced to them begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the meet you are introduced to them begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the meet you are introduced to them getting talking to them uh, and uh, meet is the base form which can be used to present tense and the future tense and as infinitive meet is a past form meet means uh, to come into the presence of for the first time to be introduced to become acquainted with is called the meet meet a gathering of riders and hounds before a hunt begins an organized event 
at which number of races or other athletic contests are held is called the meet. Touch or join 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 is called the arrange or happen to come into the presence of company of someone is called the meet. Arrange or happen to come into the presence of company or company of someone is called the meet. Arrange or happen to come into the presence or company of someone is called the meet. Arrange or happen to come into the presence or company of someone is called the meet. Arrange or happen to come into the presence or company of someone is called the meet. Arrange or happen to come into the presence or company of someone is called the meet. Arrange or happen to come into the presence of companies uh, someone is called the meet. Arrange or happen to come into the presence or companies uh, touch or join is called the meet. Touch and join is called the meet. A gathering of riders and holders before a hunt begin is called the meet. Arrange or happen to come into the presence or company of someone is called the meet. Happen to come into the presence or company of someone is called the meet. Arrange or happen to come into the presence of company someone touch or join is called the meet. Touch or join is called the meet. Did you meet them? Touch and join is called the meet. Did they beat their retreat? On hearing my fair renown, the beat. Did they beat uh, meet? Introduce and know, knowing someone is called the meet. Into the presence of the first time. Meet the base form we used to present tense. Meet means you introduce them and begin talking to them. 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 And getting to know them is called the and getting to know them. You introduce them, begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the uh, uh, you introduce the, or the, them and begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the meet. You introduce them, begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the meet. You introduce them to begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the meet. Did you meet them, begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the meet. You introduce them, begin talking to them, getting to know them is called the meet. Uh, why should you not speak of the enemy's pros and strength? Enemy's pros and strength. Pro, pros and strength. Uh, retreat. Beat their retreat on hearing my retreat on hearing my fair renown. Renown means fair renown. Fair renown. Fair retreat by hearing my fair renown. Renown means fair renown. Retreat by fair renown. Renown means Renown. Renown means the condition of being known or talked about by many people. Fame is called the renown. The condition of being known or talked about by many people. Fame is called the renown. The condition of being known or talked about by many people. Fame is called the renown. The condition of being known or talked about by many people. Fame is called the renown. The condition of being known or talked about by the many people is called the renown. The condition of being known or talked about by the many people, fame is called the renown. The condition of being known or talked about many people, fame is called the renown. The condition of being known or talked about by the many people is called the renown. The condition of being known or talked about by the many people is the condition of being known and talked about the many people is called the renown. Did you meet them or did they beat their retreat on hearing my fair renown? Why should you not speak of the enemy's pros and the strength? Your wits seems utterly dazed. Your wits seemed utterly dazed. Wits. Your wits seemed utterly dazed. Your wits means. Your wits seems utterly dazed. Utterly wits. Wits means uh, your wits. Wits seems utterly dazed. Wits means uh, a capacity to in inventive thoughts and quick understanding is called the wit. The capacity of inventive thought and quick understanding, keen intelligence is called the wit. Your wit seems utterly dazed, dazed, and uh, uh, my lord, just as you have so kindly to put these questions to me, so kindly to put these questions to me, uh, so do you believe what I say and be not angry, and be not angry, what I say and be not angry, angry means angry, be not angry, angry means uh, angry, angry means angry, do not angry, angry means Wits means quick understanding. Quick understanding is called the wit. Angry. Angry means feeling or showing strong annoyance, displeasure or hostility. Full of anger. Feeling or showing strong annoyance, displeasure or hostility is called the angry. 
Feeling or showing strong annoyance, displeasure or hostility is called the angry. Feeling or showing strong annoyance, displeasure or hostility is called the angry. Feeling or showing strong annoyance, displeasure or hostility is called the angry. Feeling or showing strong annoyance, displeasure or hostility is called the angry. Feeling or showing strong annoyance, displeasure or hostility is called the angry. Feeling or showing strong annoyance, displeasure or hostility is called the angry. Feeling or showing strong annoyance, displeasure or hostility is called the angry. Feeling or showing strong annoyance, displeasure or hostility is called the angry. Feeling or showing strong annoyance, displeasure or hostility is called the angry. Feeling or showing strong annoyance, displeasure or displeasure or hostility is called the angry. Having a strong feeling against someone who has behaved badly, making you want to shout on them or hurt them is called the angry. Having or showing a strong feeling against someone who has behaved badly, uh, making you want to shout at them or hurt them is called the angry. Having or showing uh, st- having a strong feeling against someone who has behaved badly, making you want to shout at them or hurt them is called the uh, angry having or showing feeling against someone who has behaved badly making uh, you want to shout at them or hurt them is called the angry having a strong feeling against someone who have behaved badly making uh, you want to shout at them or hurt them is called the angry having a strong feeling against someone who has behaved badly making you want to shout at them or hurt them is called the angry Having a strong feeling against someone who has behaved badly, making you want to shout at them or hurt them is called the angry. Having a strong feeling against someone who have behaved badly, making you want to shout at them or hurt them is called the angry. Having a strong feeling against someone who have behaved badly, making you want to shout at them or hurt them is called the angry. Having a strong feeling against someone who has behaved badly, meeting making you want to shout at them and hurt them is called the angry behave badly having a strong feeling against someone who have behaved badly making you want to shout at them and hurt them is called the angry my lord just say you have kindly put these questions to me so that you behave uh, you what i said will not be angry behave badly uh, displeasure showing displeasure is called the angry and annoyness annoyness and making you want to shout and hurt them making you annoyness behave bad against someone feel strong feeling against someone a strong feeling against someone is called the angry 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 a strong feeling against someone is called the angry strong feeling against who behave badly is called angry strong feeling against someone who behaved uh, badly is called the angry strong feeling against someone who behaved badly is called the angry strong feeling against someone who behaved badly is called the angry strong feeling against someone who behaved badly is called the angry strong feeling against someone who behaved badly is called the angry strong feeling against someone who behaved badly is called the angry strong feeling against someone who behaved badly is called the angry strong feeling against someone who behaved badly is called the angry strong feeling against someone who behaved badly is called the angry strong feeling against someone who behave badly is called making you want to shout them or hurt them who behaved by strong feeling against making them shout and hurt them shout and hurt them is called the angry my lord just as you have so kindly put these questions to me so do you believe what i say and be not angry no sooner had your younger brother younger brother vibhishna met met shri rama met shri rama met means exchange met shri rama younger brother met shri rama younger brother met shri rama your younger brother met shri rama met means met met means uh, met meet and met met is a past to come to the same place or as someone to and speak to someone is the first time is called to to see and speak to someone for first time is called to is called the met to see and speak to someone for the first time is called the met to see and speak to someone for the first time is called to come to the same place or someone is called the met to come to the same place is called the mat to come to the same place is called the mat so do you believe what i say and do and uh, be not angry no sooner had your younger brother met shri rama than the latter applied the sacred mark of the sovereignty on his forehead 
the latter applied the sacred marker so orientally on his when the monkey heard they were the, that we were ravana's your majesty's spices they bound us and prosecuted us in many ways and they were about to cut off our ears but when we adjured them by the them by rama adjure adjure means adjured adjured means uh, adjured 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 means introduce and no adjured adjured means uh, adjured means urge or request so really unless to do something request to do unless to do something adjured means request adjured, to judge adjured him to answer truthfully adjured adjured means uh, beg entreat beg means adjured and supplicate adjured and supplicate is called the adjured adjured and supplicate is called the adjured adjured and supplicate is called the adjured meet means uh, meet uh, uh, angry angry means having a strong feeling against someone who have behaved badly making you want to shout at them or hurt them is called the angry having a strong feeling against someone who have behaved badly making you want to shout at them or hurt them is called the angry uh, wits means uh, the capacity of inventive thoughts and quick understanding keen intelligence is called the wit the capacity of inventive thought and quick understanding keen and intelligence is called the initial appetite to using words and ideas in quick and inventive way to create humor is called the wit the natural appetite of using words and ideas in a quick and inventive way to create humor is called the wit a natural appetite for using words and ideas in a quick and inventive way to create humor is called the wit the natural appetite of using words and ideas in a quick and inventive way to create humor is called the wit renown the condition of being known or talked about by many people fame is called the renown the condition of being known and talked about by the many people is called the renown uh, renown meet means uh, touch or join is called the meet touch and arrange to happen come into the presence or company of someone is called the meet touch or join is called the meet a, a gathering of riders and hound before a hunt begin is called the meet an organized event at which number of races of other athletics contest are held is called the meet meet means uh, the come into the presence for the first time is called the meet the come into the presence of first time is called the meet meet means meet is uh, meet meet means uh, you are introduced to them and begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the meet you are introduced to them and begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the meet you are introduced to them and begin talking to them and uh, getting to know them is called the meet you are introduced them and begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the meet you are introduced them and begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the meet you are introduced them begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the meet you are introduced them begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the meet you are introduced them and begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the meet you are introduced to them and begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the meet you are introduced to them and begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the meet you are introduced to them begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the meet you are introduced to them and begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the meet you are introduce them begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the meet you are introduce them begin talking to them and getting to know them is called the meet you are introduce them begin talking to them strength the quality of a state of being physically strong is called the strength the quality of a state of being physically strong is called the capacity of object subsume with its same great force or pressure is called the strength the capacity of an object subsume with its same great force or pressure is called the strength the capacity of object to withstand great force or pressure is called the ability to do things that need a lot of physical or mental effort is called the strength the ability to do things that need a lot of uh, physical or mental effort is called the strength uh, strength having uh, or displaying an intense or furious aggressiveness is called the phrase having and displaying if intense or furious aggressiveness is called the phrase having us displaying intense or furious aggressiveness is called the phrase having and displaying an intense or furious aggressiveness is called the phrase showing furry or melancholy uh, it look or action is called the phrase uh, weakest weakest means lacking in power to perform physical demanding task having little physical strength or energy is called the weak having physical little physical strength or any liable to break or give 
वे अंडर प्रेशर इजीली डैमेज इस कार द वीक इजीली डैमेज इस कार द वीक इजीली डैमेज इस कार द वीक टेरिबल मींस एक्सट्रीमली बैड और सीरियस इस कार द टेरिबल कॉजिंग और लाइकली टू कॉज टेरर इस कार द टेरिबल कॉजिंग और लाइकली टू कॉल टेरिबल एक्सट्रीमली बैड और सीरियस इस कार द 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 टेरिबल Extremely bad or serious is called the terrible. 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 Extremely bad or serious is called the gruesome means causing repulsion or horror is called the gruesome. Extremely unpleasant is called the gruesome. Extremely unpleasant is called the gruesome. Visage a person face uh, visage. Visage. A person's face with reference to form a proposition of features is called the visage. A person's face with reference to form a propositions of the features is called the visage. A person's facial expression 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 is called the visage. The face contents and appearance of persons. Uh, sometimes an animal is called the face contents or appearance of the a face contents appearance of person or sometimes an animal is called the visage prosecute prosecuted means Persecute. subject to hostility and ill treatment is called the subject to Persecute. hostility and ill treatment is called the prosecute pre persecute Persecute. Subject to hostility and ill treatment is called the persecute. Persecute. Subject to hostility and ill treatment is called the persecute. persecute. Subject to hostility and ill treatment is called the persecute. persecute. Subject to hostility and ill treatment is called the per persecute. Subject to hostility persecute. and ill treatment is called the persecute. Subject to hostility and ill treatment is called the persecute. Uh, Rama and letter applied to the seconds of the forehead. When the monkey heard that we Uh, were Ravana's Your Majesty's spices. They bound us and persecuted us in many ways. They were about to cut off our ears and nose, but when we adjured them by Rama not to do so, they let us go. But when we adjured them by Rama not to do so, you have inquired, my lord, about Sri Rama's army. But a thousand million tongues would fail to describe it. It is the host of bears and monkeys of the diverse hue and. a uh, gruesome visage it is a host of bears and monkeys of diverse hues hue and gruesome visage gruesome diverse hue and the gruesome visage gruesome visage gruesome means a driver who is a gruesome gruesome means causing repulsion or horror is called the gruesome causing repulsion or horror gristy as extremely unpleasant called the gruesome causing horror is called the gruesome causing horror is called the gruesome causing horror is called the gruesome causing horror a question means a sentence worded or expressed to elicit information a sentence words or expressed to elicit information a sentence worded or expressed so as to elicit information is called the question a sentence worded or expressed so that to elicit information is called the question a sentence worded or expressed to elicit information is called the a a question a matter requiring resolution or discussion is called the question a matter requiring resolution or discussion is called the questions utterly means completely and without qualification absolutely is called the utterly utterly dazed means uh, unable to think or react properly is called the dazed unable to think or react properly is called the dazed unable to think or react properly is called the dazed unable to think or react properly is called the dazed retreat means withdraw from enemy force as a result of their superior power or after a defeat is called a retreat withdraw from the enemy force as a result of their superior power or after a defeat is called a retreat withdraw from the enemy force as a result of their superior power or after a death is called a retreat withdraw from the enemy force as a result of their superior power or after a death is called a retreat withdraw from the enemy force as a result of their superior power or after a defeat is called a retreat The act of moving back is called withdrawing. Is called the act of moving back is called the retreat. Wit means the capacity for inventive thought and quick understanding. Keen intelligence is called the wit. The natural aptitude of using words and idea in a quick and inventive way to create humor is called the wit. Natural aptitude of using words and idea in a quick and inventive way to create humor is called the wit. The natural aptitude of using words and idea in a quick and inventive way to create humor is called the wit. Dazed means unable to think or react properly is called the dazed. Unable questions means uh, prove prove us 
प्रोवेंस मीन्स स्किल और एक्सपर्ट इन पर्टिकुलर एक्टिविटी और फील्ड स्किल और एक्सपर्ट इन पर्टिकुलर एक्टिविटी और स्किल और एक्टिविटी पर्टिकुलर एक्टिविटी और फील्ड स्कॉल द प्रोवेंस सो प्रोवेंस प्रोवेंस एक्टिविटी स्कॉल द प्रोवेंस डिड यू डिड यू मीट दैम और डिड दे बीट देयर रिट्रीट on hearing my fair renounce why should you not speak to the enemy's prowess in the strength your wit seems utterly dazed uh, my lord just as you have so kindly put these questions to me so do you believe what i say to be and be not angry uh, no sooner can your younger brother met shri rama than the latter applied the sacred mark of sovereignty on their forehead when the monkey heard that we were ravana's your majesty's spices they bound us and prosecuted as in many ways uh, they were about to cut off uh, our ears and nose but when we adjured them by ravana not to do so they let us go you have inquired my lord about shri rama's army but a thousands millions tongues would fail to describe it it is a host of bears and monkeys of diverse hues and the gruesome visage huge and terrible he who burns your capital and killed your son is weakest of the all monkeys the army include innumerable champions with a many names fierce and unyielding monsters of vast bulk and possessing a strength of number of uh, number uh, less elephants shri ramayana page number 815